Hi, this is Leda Meredith, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial today on how to make a mosquito repellent from lantana flowers. Now, lantana, we're looking at one of the flowers right now. Each flower is made up of rings of little florets, very colorful, but the color forms vary sometimes even on the same plant. I'll show you what I mean here. So these are actually on the same plant. And then there are horticultural ones that have been bred. Uh, some of them are white and pink and many different colors. All right, the wild one tends to be orange. What you need to know as far as the mosquito repellent is that it should be strongly aromatic, like the whole plant. The leaves are kind of coarse, rough, and they have teeth on the edges. And let's try and show you this. They join the stems in an opposite leaf arrangement, meaning they're joining in pairs, not one at a time. And the whole plant should be really aromatic when you crush it. The leaves, the flowers, everything. And that aroma is coming from resins and essential oils, which are the parts of the plant that will repel mosquitoes. Now, interestingly enough, this is also a fantastic pollinator attractor. And I find it interesting that the same plant that will draw bees and butterflies to your garden will also shoo away the mosquitoes. In any case, um, there is one edible part of this plant, let's see if I can find any, which are the fully ripe to the point that they're black fruits. Well, these have kind of dried up on here and not much left to them. But at that black stage, they are edible. When they are green, they are considered toxic and the rest of the plant also should not be ingested, only the fully ripe black fruits. But we're not talking about that today, we're talking about the mosquito repellent. So go ahead and pick a bunch of the flowers because that's the part that we're gonna use. And by the way, if you Google lantana flowers as bug repellent or lantana flowers as mosquito repellent, you'll find that there have been some scientific studies on using these and they were found to be, I believe, 94.5% effective. Um, and I have found this to be the case also. All right, so go ahead and pick a bunch of these flowers. I want to mention that um, in cold winter climates, like my old stomping grounds in New York, gardeners use lantana as an annual. It's not, it's actually a perennial, but it can't survive cold winters. So it's planted for its colorful flowers that will bloom pretty much all summer long. And then the winter comes and kills them off and, <laughs> and they start over the next year. But in places with mild winters, um, this actually will grow into a woody shrub that can get as tall as six feet, two meters high. So I'm just putting these into an old mustard jar here that I'm repurposing. And I'm gonna pour over some coconut oil. Just enough to cover. Maybe a little more than that. And then I'm going to cover that and let it sit for two weeks. I also want to show you the difference between this fresh batch that I just made and this one which is ready to be strained. It's been there for two weeks and you can see the flowers are kind of drab and like brown gray. Um, and that will happen. You did not do anything wrong. Uh, the flowers in this one have basically given up all of their goodness to the oil and the oil just needs to be strained. Now, the other thing you can do to make a super strong batch, which I like because mosquitoes love me, is strain your two week old oil like this and then take that same oil that already had lantana in it and add a fresh batch of flowers and let it sit for another one to two weeks. So you've got like a double infused batch and that will definitely do the trick. And last but not least, uh, be on the lookout for cool containers that make this bug repellent easy to apply. This is a glass bottle with a roller top that I think was actually store-bought mosquito repellent at one time and makes it very easy to put on. And in my experience, um, this will last about an hour and a half before I need to reapply. Hope this has been useful. And you can ask me questions via my website. You'll find an email link there at latermeredith.com. Bye.